Hey guys, welcome back to Piping Engineers. In today's video, we will learn about the gate walls and ball walls. We will see what are gate walls, what are ball walls, what is the basic differences between the gate walls and ball walls, and what are their different uses in industries. So, guys, for more videos and updates, please like, follow, and subscribe to our channel. So, let's begin our today's video and learn about gate walls and ball walls. So guys, uh, what is a gate wall? Gate wall is the most basic wall that uh, we come across in our daily lives or in our or in the industry. So gate walls are basically they are known as on-off walls. So in order when we want to have a have, when we want to have a quick close or quick open, we use gate wall. Or or you can say when we when we require a isolation in the system that is complete uh, complete shut off in the system, we use gate wall. So you can see the gate walls basically uses this wedge type of system when and it is connected with this hand wheel when this hand wheel is uh, moved in 360 or rotated this wedge goes up down you can see this is a closed position of a gate wall and when the hand wheel is uh, rotated this spindle of gate wall goes up and with this wedge goes up so the flow starts moving so it it allows a full bore passage in the flow of fluid through it so because of this uh, full bore passage is allowed uh, the size of the wall uh, becomes equal to your pipe size through to which it is connected because of this there is a minimal pressure loss in the gate wall so this is the basic concept of a gate wall and basic function if someone asks well, what is a gate wall and how and why it is used in industry so you can say when we need a isolation 100 percent isolation in the, in the system we use gate wall uh, moving on to the next let's see what is a ball wall so as the name suggests uh, uh, it there will be a ball in the ball which will be uh, used for the isolation purpose so you can see this ball wall contains a ball and this ball is again in turn connected with the handle so when we rotate this handle this ball also get rotated so there is a hole inside this ball uh, when the hole is uh, is in, in line with the flow the flow starts moving inside it and when the hole moves on the other side the flow of the in the wall stops so ball wall as, as i told you the name implies a, there is a ball to shut the flow in a system the pipe is in open position when the bore is aligned as i already told you and when the ball is rotated and uh, the hole moves in another direction the the uh, the flow in the wall stops so you can see uh, in ball wall uh, we can have this 100% of flow and we can also use it for our throttling purpose so you can see uh, the hole is of 70% or like 30% hole is in line with the flow and uh, 30 and 70 and 30% is closed so in this way it can be used for an like throttling purpose and it it can also be used for a complete shut off uh, purpose when the hole is in uh, against the direction of the flow so this is uh, the basic concept of a ball wall uh, moving on to the next so here here i have compiled some of the differences between gate wall and ball wall so you can see uh, gate wall as i told you is as the name suggests it contains it contains a solid wedge so for gate walls guys we have already made a detailed video we will provide the link here in the description uh, so you can watch that uh, a detailed video for gate wall similarly for ball walls also we have detailed video you can uh, watch this video here in the link itself we will provide the link so uh, coming back to the video so there is a solid wedge as i told you this this portion which moves up and down which goes inside the pipe this is known as the solid wedge why it is known as solid because it is it is solid in shape and uh, it is not a hollow part so this solid wedge uh, is shaped into the to shut the flow in the system so this is the gate wall in ball wall again i told you uh, there is there will be a ball which will be used to one of the flow in the system uh, gate wall if we talk about same size and same rating have larger body the gate wall uh, is more moving move in a vertical direction as this hand wheel when it is rotated this spindle moves up and down so you can see the direction or the movement of the spindle is in vertical direction and as compared to the ball wall the same size of the of the wall and same uh, rating the gate wall will be of larger size as compared to your ball wall while ball wall will be of smaller smaller size and if the size of the ball wall is like uh, increased it will increase in horizontal direction you can see the ball wall it is typical in horizontal direction 
while the gate wall is in vertical direction so gate walls are uh, also termed as multi turn walls why multi turn walls because this contains this hand wheel and this hand wheels needs to be rotated multiple times uh, to have the movement of this wedge shape spindle so it is known as multi turn wall again uh, while the gate wall is known as quarter turn wall why quarter turn wall uh, so you can see this handle is connected with your, with your ball so when uh, when one quarter of this handle is rotated the we can this uh, like uh, you can see this whole part will go on the other side of the uh, other side of the wall and the flow will stop so therefore they are known as quarter turn walls and again uh, gate walls are designed to open and close quickly so as compared to like uh, ball walls uh, gate walls can be like uh, used for open and close quickly they are typically used in applications where opening and closing is needed and uh, uh, so and if compared to ball walls while ball wall provides a tight seal you can see there is just this hole when this hole will go to the other side of the wall uh, there will be no flow so wherever the tight seal is the requirement requirement of the system we use ball walls again gate wall tend to be less expensive than ball walls uh, yes the gate walls are less expensive uh, because the ball the material of the ball is uh, very costly and uh, because of their compactness the ball walls have a higher size as compared to your gate walls but more susceptible to corrosion and these are more susceptible to corrosion why gate walls because they have large amount of uh, you, you would say large amount of solid parts uh, and the flow uh, will be heating directly so they, they are low, uh, more tendon more tendon to corrosion over the time and uh, you know uh, they, there are uh, like there is a maintenance issues sometimes this wedge uh, drops for the uh, disconnected gets disconnected from your spindle so there are cases when uh, your wedge doesn't move with your spindle so in that case the complete gate wall needs to be replaced out of the system uh, moving on to the next slide uh, there uh, here i have like jotted down the detailed ga of the uh, wall in order so that you can have an overview of the parts so in gate wall we have this hand wheel as i already told you this hand wheel uh, will be the rotating part and with this hand wheel this stem is connected and these are some packing rings why this packing rings so that flow doesn't uh, so that water or the liquid or the fluid doesn't go outside so there are some packing ring this is the bonnet so bonnet is the main casted material inside which the whole system gets your uh, like uh, inside in, uh, it, uh, like inside which the whole of your wall will uh, be placed this is the main body of the wall this is the gate or the wedge shaped material that will flow up and down that will move up and down and it will be placed inside your pipe and there are these are gate seats so why gate seats uh, so again to require uh, to stop the leakage we provide some seats because there is again metal to metal contact and metal to metal contact is not 100 percent uh, leak proof so we provide some seat material so that there is less leakage inside the system so these are basic parts of the gate wall and as compared to the ball wall again you can will see you there will be this is the handle of the ball wall again there is some this o-ring this there is a bearing against a, a wire bearing because this uh, handle and ball will be connected through a bearing this is the shaft uh, this is this is the locking nut this is the ball which is the main part of the wall this is a hand cap so these are the basic parts of ball wall so guys uh, in this video it was a basic explanation between gate walls and ball walls i hope you would have uh, seen the video and learned few things in the video so guys for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching the video